Chico said he's gonna break me. Uh, yeah, we'll see, buddy. <sighs> Welcome back out of hibernation. Oh, yo! Whoa, you're pulling my pants now. Because <laughs> Tim was like, bro, you got too much energy. You need to chill the f out. Try this. You're down to flex on the haters? Gold plug. Ready? What you gotta do? Breathe. Usually things aren't as chaotic actually. Today was a bit of hectic day. Usually everything's way more chill, calm. Yeah, when I said I do like a little bit of manifesting or seeing how the light plays out, usually it's times like this. When it's outside, dark out, after I do my This thing fucking kinda looks like Marab, doesn't he? Like his face and shit. Wrote this 8 17 2020. So the Monday after the fight. Oh, I will get that fight back someday. Okay, for work. You're just breathing in and out the same air. I'm better with CO2, some something or another, but you get so high for your own breath. You can only do it for like a minute, two minutes, depending on how fast you're breathing. But you open up your lungs, you're ready to go. Hard fucking Oh, some steps in some shit. It might have been getting rid of it. Yeah, what up? Yeah, you can walk through it. Almost done, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I cleaned it up. I cleaned it up, though. There you go. There you go. What are you thinking? I need to grab a little bit. Did you get your new controller? No. Hopefully today. Careful, Bob. I am. I'm good. I'm good. What we thought was going sus? Oh, I'm giant! <laughs> He's 260! Just have a Achilles tendon surgery. <laughs> He's doing a part trial. Do about 10 minutes. Uh, get the blood flow on the bass. How are you feeling about my nine minute prediction? You, are we over under? What do we think? Nine minute? Yeah, for, for Cheeto. I'd be surprised. Think, I'll tell you that much. I'll be saying. surprised. I don't think you can. Oh, they want to know? They want to know. They want to know why? The people want to know. We have my four stripe white belt jujitsu debut. The ref says something, and I'm not listening to him because I got throw up in my mouth. So I'm looking for a trash can. I get to the edge of the mat, and I take one step off of the mat and throw up on like the corner of the mat. <laughs> And turn around and act like you're better. And turn around like I'm ready to go. Yeah. Let's go. I needed a second and we're good to yeah, go. Apparently you're not allowed to shoot. Apparently they don't allow real athletes to do athletic shit. Yeah. Apparently. Apparently. LeBron does. You know what I'm saying? People wire your calves are hurting. They fuck don't know those goddamn doing. stairs, bro. They hit them stairs. Fucking 340 stairs are straight up. I've done it. Every time I do it, my calves get absolutely kind of shredded. But that's where we're at right now. 153.6. Same exact weight as I was last fight camp, 26 days out. Weight's on point. It's funny, I wrote my draw journal, I'm like, God, my calves are so fucked from them stairs. Same thing today, I wrote the same shit, same day out, same, same amount out. Crazy. Same day, last fight, you wrote the same thing? Yeah, Monday, 26 days out, I'm like, God, my calves hurt. I look back, I was like, same weights. I basically wrote the same shit. Calves are fucked, knocking out, Cheeto, fucking 153.6. Melodies, my favorite rapper. You should check, check out my melodies. No twelve to six, man. Fuck. Chihuahua. Fuck. 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 Imagine that he's a coach. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to know you're in the same exact spot. Yeah. Yeah. And healthy. Last you're doing the same exact thing. Yep. Injured. Yeah, you can grapple, you can do everything you need to do. I might really get back.
double leg each other on the fence. As they're coming up, you're punching. Now wrestle them, wrestle them, Kyle. Try to wrestle here. Boys, this session hit Mr. Tim. Did some grappling with Tankino, one of the best grapplers in the world. Uh, did some drilling with Kyler Phillips. He got a big fight against Pedro Munoz on the same night in Miami. Uh, great fucking little session to start the week, Monday morning. This afternoon, we got Brandon Harris, some strength and conditioning up at the house. Fire day. Miss your hands. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> oh, so you do have a popsicle. <laughs> uh, we'll just get together tomorrow again. Okay. All right. Sorry to be in such a hurry. No, I love you. Thanks. <sighs> Thankfully, my mom helps me just stay on top of everything. Obviously, I have an accountant, so she's make sure everything's organized. So we send it to the accountant. Um but very fucking stressful. Stress out of 10 right now. Ooh, I'm at a seven, I'm at a seven. Uh, it's not fun, it's not fun. But we're gonna figure it out. We got a fucking matcha latte, organic, seven fucking out of 10. Almost finished my lentils. How was the meal? Ate a couple of broccoli. Chicken, fresh chicken off that tracker, incredible. We got Turbo in his little thing. What up, Turbo? Welcome back out of hibernation. Dude, fuck so much. Every time I catch him, he's always fucking another turtle. It's crazy. But this chicken always somehow escapes. I'm gonna try to catch her. Hi, ah, pretty girl. Oh, you fucker. It's okay. Quit fucking escaping. I'm quit catching you, buddy. I'm gonna, grab, I'm gonna grab some mealworms and I'm gonna bring them over here. Watch these chickens go fucking crazy. Fucking mealworms, buddy. 
Alright, we got one. That one's warm as fuck, just came out the puss. Two, three, two, three, four. And this one, let's go check the other. Oh, fuck. Hop over real quick, let's see what we got. None. Ah. Oh, we got one. Oh, that's not a big ass one. That one might have hurt coming out. The old dad, she know. All right, fuck those come out of. So fucking perfect. It's so crazy. I know. Look at this brownies. Hello, buddy. You in there? What the? You go outside? Go. Okay. Oh, this week. Hi, chicken. What the? What the heck? I'm gonna get turbo out, let him run around a bit out here. Thought I've lost turbo like eight times. People are always like, how do you keep losing your turtle? Because I let him run around. He loves running around with no fucking cage. And I forget about him. So, don't only forget about turbo. Dream! What? Cold. You're cold? You wanna go, wanna quick go on swing or you wanna grab your jacket? Um, I don't know. Oh, oh, the sun? Good idea. Yeah. Ian and I are stinking. Hey! Turbo. Oh, turbo got some. Hey, go gear that. You got a little stuck on that branch. I saw you there, fella. Hibernated for like eight weeks. Six, seven, eight weeks. I'm like, fuck, is he dead or is he hibernating still? I don't know. Kick your feet. Hold. Kick. Hold. Back? Yeah. You don't want to swing no more? Yeah. Alright. Oh. Ow. You gonna go on my back? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Should we go find Turbo? Yeah. Oh, I see him. He's escaping. There's five acres behind my house for sale. Back there? My yeah. House. I mean Atlanta's house, sorry. <laughs> there's a, this house, this is four acres, and there's five acres for sale. We got that out of a nice little nine acres. See that's mental math right there. Atlanta didn't even need a calculator. Daddy. Whoa, you're pulling my pants down. <laughs> that's not funny. <laughs> no! Oh, boy. oh, you think that's, wait! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Hey! 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 Oh, you're just a baby! Oh, you're such a cute baby! Have you always had this like level of discipline when you were like coming up training amateur, or is it kind of this thing you developed with reading books, with with doing these different habits? Or is it something you feel like you kind of always sort of had? I remember when I started kickboxing, I, I mean, we'd train Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I was just like, I would never miss those practices. But as far as like discipline, on, I didn't eat good. I didn't, I didn't even know that was like a thing. I didn't know I had all this inflammation in my back and all that shit. So I didn't have the, I didn't have the knowledge to be disciplined, I feel like. Like if I would've known about eating healthy, I probably would've tried back then, but I also, was fucking broke so I don't know but I don't know discipline I feel like I always showed up for those practices I always kind of worked out on my own to try to be in better shape when we didn't have practices um, I didn't drink didn't smoke at all 16 17 18 19 when I moved to Arizona when I first like smoked weed because Tim was like bro you got too much energy you need to chill the fuck out try this so yeah I feel like I was disciplined for what I for living in, in Helena and trying to do everything I could right. But I definitely have gotten more disciplined over the years from uh, just learning more. Found you, buddy. Yeah. He tries to go in the darkest place possible. What? I can't go to walk. Yeah, you can. You're tough. 
Your puzzles are tough. See? Told ya. My mom does all my tax stuff we were just talking about. She said I spent $3,000 on water this year, or last year. That's fucking ridiculous. I usually hit, what's the hydration stack before training? Um, I'm gonna hit some aminos, I'm gonna magnesium, got creatine, L-glutamine. I'll probably just hit some aminos right now. It's a little bit of, just a little bit. It's just this carbohydrate powder. But with no, yeah. Hold on tight. A girl, Daddy. Hey, can can Cassie tell me that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, you hold him. You down with that, Elena? Huh? You down to flex on the haters? Should we just flex on them? Watch some TV? Just like show the haters we ride like that? But. Okay, let's get a, try to break a light sweat. Let's get you moving. Today. A little resistance training, a little, uh, little lift here at the house, so always good. Um, full body prioritizing speed. Um, everything is moving more in the direction of fight specific. So, yeah. Yeah, you can, baby. Try really good. good. Doing good? Ready? Let's go. A little stuff. together okay three second down three second up tempo push-up I'll start you guys on my count and then you stay stay with that pace okay everybody's in a push-up position and we're gonna start down three two one up three two one Stay down. I'm gonna have you guys take three breaths. Just big, deep breaths. We'll go through the nose. At the end of your third breath, full inhale, exhale half. So exhale neutral, breath hold. Then I'd stand there like this until he left. That's so crazy. You sleep, baby. You fall back to sleep. That's how she sleeps sometimes. Really? It's right on my face. Oh, that's so cute. Grass fed. Grass finished. No bullshit. Monday dinner. We have six ounces of mean steak, sweet potato, and a cup of asparagus.
Oh my gosh, is this a mini mouse? That's not even that dark though, we're hot tubbing, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. 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 Yeah, I have a, that little cold plunge right there, that little trough. It's not that, it's really not that cold, but I'll use that sometimes. That's usually, oh my god, we'll do it. That's her cold plunge, it's so funny. What does your regular like night routine look like? Um, On a standard day? I mean, this is just kind of pretty similar to this. Cold plunge, hot tub. I'm doing everything a little bit earlier tonight, too. Uh, we're gonna eat dinner early tonight, and we're gonna try to go to sleep earlier tonight, but usually, well, uh, I've been saunaing a lot. I've been trying to sauna like five times a week. So I've been trying to do that for like 20 minutes. Oh, careful. Let me try this. Should we do the cold plunge? <gasps> ready? Do we do it? Are you ready or should we wait two minutes? No. What do you got to do? Breathe. Oh, she's shy. She sings every night. Four, five. You can shy. She sings it every time. <laughs> what? I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> hey, Tickle. Why are you being shy? Why are you being shy? Princess. That was good. Tax shit stressed me out a bit. My legs were fucking shot from the weekend. Friday, Saturday, I had really hard trainings. Sunday I was able to recover, but sometimes it's just fucking one day is not necessarily enough for a full recovery, so. Woke up feeling pretty, felt good, but, you know, a little fatigued. Had a good good session this morning. Usually I get a nice little 20 minute nap in throughout the day. But I just had, a, I told my mom I would just, I would just help her get that done with, because she's been stressing out about it, so. Had to do that, which I usually wouldn't do. Um, but I had to just bust that out, so did that, and then, uh, it was a good day, you know, it was a good day. Well, that chicken was incredible. I know, it turned out pretty good. Usually things aren't as chaotic, actually. Today was a bit of a hectic day. Usually everything's way more chill, calm, fucking chill out. Seeing how the light plays out, usually it's times like this when it's outside, dark out, after I do my recovery stuff. Sweet combos on Bob. Can't give away my secrets too much, but. That's when I kind of get creative, figure out how I want to finish this dude. Good night, girls. Thank you for the eggs. See you in the morning. Dan 
Garner for the meal plan. Uh, do my blood work, stool, pee, a few times a year. And every time he analyzes it, he tells me what supplements I need to be taking, what nutrients I need to be getting through my foods. So I have this little thing that I do, all NSF certified, of course. My supplements, dinner, $1,000 water. Make a little nighttime shake. Magnesium. Shout out to Springer. Was it Springer that got me this cup? Yeah. Springer, fan. Oh shit, turbo. I need to grab that little fucker. Got him. Fucking tur tortoises are crazy. You sleeping, dude? This thing fucking kind of looks like Marab, doesn't he? Like his face and shit. Isn't that crazy? Kyle and R at the recharge center. They make my meals 99% of the time. Well, not 99. They make my meals for the most part. <clears throat> but every once in a while I need some good home cooked fresh meals. One thing we implemented uh, uh, probably about, I don't know how long ago, like a year ago maybe? No electronics during breakfast or dinner. Oh, which is hard for me because I fucking loved. And I used to do it, that's crazy. I used to do it every night, every morning, just surfing YouTube while I eat. Huh. I haven't done that in a long time. I was just fucking. <laughs> but I do need to finish listening to this Good Dan Garner video. Go grab a cup. I have some right here that you can share. Alright, boys. Goddamn, eat like goddamn king. Okay, I'm like thin. Fire. Look at Atlanta's dinner. That shit's fire. She's carnivore. <laughs> she can be healthy as fuck. Hey, Thomas. <laughs> I told you what I like. Um, Thomas, smoked in like four days either. Gotta quit smoking around like three, four weeks out because I just can't have any extra little snacks. And if I'm high, you best believe I'm gonna be looking at that pantry for a little something. How'd you make these? Sprouts. They're just like this? No, they're. It's a little frisbee. <laughs> no, you just feed them up. Oh. You can crack them like chips. Like chips? What chips? You make a burrito. Like their chips? Oh, okay. Oh. You're a coconut one? Mm -hmm. Oh, pretty good. This is what I need to do when I eat. I eat too fast sometimes. I just need to eat too much. I need to do it in eighth grade. Got grounded. <laughs> so like, fuck you, mom. I need to do it with you. Eat so much slower. I'm not stoned out of my tits. <laughs> Man, that's been a little daddy's girl lately. I'm sleeping. Seems like on my face. I love it. <laughs> she looks up to me when you're not in the bed. It's so funny. I'll flip over to the side and she'll like kind of spoon me my, her, arm, her little arm over my body. It's the funniest thing. I don't know the fuck got painted this thing. This thing's fucking crazy. At Chadwick Upton. Upton. Chadwick. Shit's fucking wild, bro. Going, going to the, the warehouse. Second, going into the second round with fucking what's his tits? I'll do. Yeah, going in the warehouse. These are. All right, these are all my journals from all my fight camps. From oh god, my writing's fucked. This one's 2018. First page. Read less social media. January 2018. I'm still working on that. Got better finally. 2024. Finally got less social media down. <laughs> I wrote this when I was on Mush. Scary at first, but on the other side is still this. <clears throat> I already won in life with love. No thought required. 
And then I just scribbled a bunch of shit. Emotions come and go, observe them, feel them. But no, they come and go. We will be back and gold will be mine. I will get that, oh, I will get that fight back someday. I wrote this, 8-17-2020. So the Monday after the fight. I will get that bite back, fight. I will get that fight back some someday. He felt so slow. I was about to take control of that fight. It's over though, time to move on. Focus on what I can control. So that was pretty much over it right after the fight, ready to kill. It's crazy, I'm gonna write a book someday and just put a bunch of these in there. Marcus Aurelius, all meditations. <laughs> yeah. Sugatations. Sugatash. If I could read my shit though. <laughs> Cause when did I fight after that? I fought Thomas Almeida. Fight day has arrived. Um, counter all this kilo. Yeah, I did. March 28th or March 27th. Knocked out Thomas Almeida in March. Mm, interesting. Fight off the Vito. Counter all his low kicks. Check one two. He's going to be way going to be way too fast for him. 15 minutes. I'm going to break him. Better athlete. Better viral. Fighter viral ko ko coming once again. I've earned this spot. It's time to do work. Got a great team behind me. Got the KO. <laughs> April 1st. Got the KO. Easy money. Easy money. Merch did good. After party was fun. Desire for external things will always cause unhappiness. I, now I write on the top of each page how many days out I am. Before, I wouldn't do that. So I don't know how many days out unless I actually went back and counted. But this one I think goes up to... So it's... Oh, I said 21, 26. Okay, this is 26 days out, which is today. So this was against 153.6 today. So I'm already lighter. Same weight as I was against Aljo. This far out. Literally, same exact weight. Four more weeks. Fun things to go back and look through. Continue to keep journaling my career. I, th I swear I have another notebook that's from 2017 somewhere. That's my, uh, on my newest one right now. Oh, uh, Aljo vs. Henry was, no, that was in May, April, January, March, April, May. Okay, so I was, those, so that fight was got announced. And I was kind of just waiting to see if, cause I thought for sure Aljo was going to pull out. Cause yeah, that, he kept saying an injury. So I thought Aljo was going to pull out, Henry's going to pull out. So I was kind of getting ready to get into fight camp just in case. How grateful are you to like your past self for, you know, gathering all this information? And obviously, you got to read it back. Uh, yeah, I'm fucking pumped. I started doing that. Always, I remember thinking like, if I can make myself make the right choices right now, so myself in five years will be happy. That makes sense. Yeah, no. do the right thing now, so my future self will thank me. I remember having that thought. I have all my weight cuts from Eddie, Cheeto, Thomas, <coughs> Chris Machino, Paiva, Pedro, Peter, Aljo, all of them. But yeah, I'm glad I'm fucking doing all that. No guess, no guessing. Like, oh, I wonder what I was last camp. Well, like, I know what the fuck I was last camp. I know exactly what the fuck I was doing. What do you What do you think the benefit of journaling has been for you? Because obviously, you are you've done it for so long. Now. Yeah, definitely hold myself accountable. Some kind of therapy too, ish. It feels good to just kind of write it down. But for the most part, this was this was for to benefit my career fighting, knowing how much I weighed, what sessions I was doing. But then it translated into okay, this is just makes me feel better just as a person. But it started out purely like just to be become a better athlete, better fighter, be the best in the world. But now it's kind of just help all around, just everything. Cool. All right. Finish off, drink tea for fucking ever. I really like these guys. I don't know, they're not pucka, puka, fucking, hopefully not puka, that'd be not good, but just some nighttime soothing tea. Some uh, elderberry. I, I, I have a bunch of shit, different shit from them. Fucking detox tea, green tea, all sorts of shit. But yeah, that should be it, that should be it. Have a little piece of dark chocolate because I fucking can. A little bit of this. <laughs> this kills my sweet tooth again. I'm not fucking stoned, so just a little sweet tooth is all it takes. A little piece of 
peanut butter. I wish I could be this disciplined out of camp. Well, I'm just gonna have a little square, that'll just, that'll do, it's a little peanut butter. But nope, if I was out of camp right now, I'd be fucking stoned off my tits, eating the whole bar, fucking drinking peanut butter out of a straw. Pull this up. A little dark chocolate, a little peanut butter. Mmm. Mm. Organic Jerusalem artichoke fiber. What's in here, buddy? <laughs> Organic tiger nut flour. Tiger nut. Mm. Alright, boys, that was an in depth day in the life of the Sugar Show. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, it's probably going to be a banger long video. Uh, pretty much ran through a whole day. It was a little bit more of a chaotic day than usual, but it was still a good day. Shout out to everyone that stayed, watched the entire thing. Shout out to everyone that watches all the content I put out. Cheetos get knocked out March 9th slash 10th in Miami. Live on pay-per-view if you can't make it. Don't stream it. Buy it because I get the pay-per-view points. Close. Face pussies. Ha <laughs> ha.